first impression is um, well, we came into the small um, the, the small town, like 10,000 people. Very beautiful town. It's like old, you know. I've never seen anything so old in my life because it's older than America. I've never really left very often, you know. I went to Mexico or whatever, but it's nothing like this. We're in Poland in a forest. Sweet. <laughs> it's been pretty awesome, so, you know, hopefully we're gonna start jamming in, in a couple days, like hardcore, so it's gonna be great. I can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, it's awesome, you know. It's very, you know, natural out here. It's really cool. I think uh, I'm happy to be here with my band, and uh, it's an honor to be here in Europe. Um, with three of the best guitars I've ever met. Never expected that doing a grand opening for a television station in Eagle Arena would bring us to Europe so quickly. I mean, we've all been playing music for our whole lives, and just to actually get the chance to already be living our dream is... I mean, we're, we feel like we're getting old, but we're happy we could do this now, so I want to do it for the rest of my life. That, well, I know that with time we're going to get, you know, we're going to be tighter as a band and we're going to have uh, better music and we're going to play faster and slower and heavier. It's going to be uh, like a beautiful thing, like creating music together, like four musicians together finally, uh, trying to do something true and trying to do something real. And uh, I'm happy to be here. Again. different influences and different kinds of things we're going to experience here is going to let us get a whole other angle on the kind of music we can create. And since we have such rawness to our music that I feel that it doesn't matter if we're like in Japan and Europe or in America, people are, it doesn't matter if they understand what we're saying or like understand our language, they're going to understand our music because it's purity in it. so about two and a half months. And what do you expect from this trip? Um, I mostly expect like, you know, get get a lot tighter, get more material down. Hopefully we get a lot of material down. Some stuff to work with, you know, in the future when we come back and then we'll also be playing some shows. So hopefully, you know, good things come out of it, you know, get, get some, you know, promotion out here for our next time we come out here. So we will have more experience out here and more experience in general. So it'll, it'll be, it'll be very, good for the band and good for all of us in general, so definitely awesome. Being in Europe is like, it's a change. I miss my family, I miss my friends, I don't miss my job. Um, it's good to have like a change of pace, you know, it's good to have like a change of lifestyle. It's good to be cultured because most Americans, most Europeans, people don't go back and forth and they don't have the opportunity to be, you know, cultured, if you will. to see how people will receive us here. See like different cultures, different traditions on even when you go to concerts, like we're used to people 
breaking their necks and tearing things up when they're seeing our shows. Uh, as much as we can come back here have two different markets we have America and we have Europe and we're gonna dominate both so it's gonna be awesome like Dolan said you know awesome everything's awesome It's not like mosh pits aren't around, or the, you know, it's more like respectful for them to be listening. So, as we hear, we'll see what it turns out to be like. And we could actually know, and not just have like, have a first perspective to it, instead of having just second-hand accounts of what everyone else says. So if anyone's telling us bullshit, we just have not been there, we've done it. expectation I have is just to, to get closer like mentally and uh, spiritually with my brothers and to write the best music we can. That's what Summer Beta is all about. Summer Beta is about writing the best, the best music we can and being, you know, the best we can be, like Michael Jordan. <laughs> Like, we need to keep music alive. It's like people are dismissing, especially in metal, man. You see, common people just dismiss metal because they're like, oh, it's just screaming, it's just chugging bullshit, you know. But, a lot of people are doing the same shit over. Yeah, and, over and it's like it's like you hear like, one band, like when, yeah, when one band does something, and it just like it's like, oh, they're, they're, famous. Famous. Yeah, they're famous, they're famous, they're like doing that. So let's yeah. do that. Let's get us. We famous. don't want to. We don't like, want to follow any footsteps, man. We we're, were the first to go down any path. So. Trying to create something, and we're, it's not even that we were trying to step aside from each other. We just don't. We have so many different musical influences in the band. Like all of us, we all listen to metal. Metal's in our hearts and our souls. But like to get that, to get the pure rawness in metal, you need to appreciate all forms of music. You got the classical, everything. I do a lot. I, I play. I love playing drums for Sema Veda. Um, I play. I write my own music too back home. More of like a American American style, I guess. I mean, I, I think Sema Veda has a lot of uh, European influence in how they write music. Uh, mine is more like, you know, American hatred, I guess, if you will. Um, yeah, I'm, you know, I, I like being able to put my input with what they write to. Like right now, the reason why music's dying isn't just because of MP3s, it's because people have, artists are having this entitlement that they feel that it seems like you're coming to see our shows and you gotta listen to what we like. If you don't like it, it's like screw off. It's like that's why people don't go see shows anymore. It sucks. It's like back, you know, like Pink Floyd, for example. When you see a Pink Floyd show, you don't forget that for the rest of your life. And when people see our shows, we don't want them to forget it for the rest of their lives. We want to give them the pure rawness can and give them a good show, combine everything, it's all your senses, if we could give them taste, we'll throw them out some like hot dogs or some shit if we can, you know, it's like whatever you can do, stimulate all the senses at once, it's like a natural high, you get the visions, the music, everything, when everything combines together, it's out of body experience for the whole audience, and feeding off of each other through that is unexplainable. <laughs> 